back to Layla Land. In today's video, I'm very excited to be testing some new Obsession makeup that I picked up. Obsession, if you don't know, is a sister brand of Revolution, who I am a huge fan of. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd test out some of their makeup. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Right, let's get into it. First, I'm going to be trying the Tonight Is Your Night palette situation. This is what I got sent free. Bye, Leonard. Bye, then. This is the one that came free in the order. Very generously. Thank you very much, Obsession and the team. So let's have a look. It's the, um, ooh, it says worth £16. Thank you. Very treated, aren't we? Mm. Um, what's my voice doing? Right, so let's get into this. So I believe this is the uh, magnetic palette that you can then create your own sort of palette layout with. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Empty palette, ready to fill. Start your obsession. See what you did there? See what you did? Elixir pun. Um, hold six singles. Can we stop? That was the easiest I've ever opened anything. Right, okay, so, oh. so, large mirror situation. Um, and then we've got hello, six uh, spaces to put eyeshadows. And very kindly, they've sent us six of those as well. Oh. Right, so we've got um, this kind of peachy nude, which is called Flushed. Got this kind of brownie nude colour, which is called Golden Oak. We have got... Ooh. This uh, navy blue, it looks, colour, which is called Hypnotic. We've got... We've got this darker blue with a little bit of a shimmer running... Well maybe a satin running through it and this is called moon shadow i think i think this came in a goodie bag from one of the revolution events i think we've oh this is gorgeous we've got this coppery shimmery shade which is called brooklyn and then we've got this kind of pinky purpley berry toned shimmer which is called crimson i'm not sure what i called it crimson it's not very red which is what crimson is but there we go that's what it's called right so this is the bit i've been really excited about because um one of my dreams in life and i'm gonna put it out there to the universe is to create my own um makeup whether that's um a palette in collaboration with a brand whether that's my own setup um I don't know, but that's just one of my dreams to create my own kind of palettes and highlighters and lippies. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have loads of fun for a minute organizing these, just one second. Okay, so what I've done, let me hold it like that so I'm not blinding you. So what I've done is I've put the mattes across the top row and then I've put the shimmers along the bottom row. Just need to tidy up as I go, otherwise I'll have an OCD fit, bear with. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one um just as a transition color and i'm using my revolution brush there. if you saw the last um video on my channel which was frankly disastrous i'm really really hoping this is going to be better Ooh, you probably can't see it on camera just because it is a really good transition shade for me that already is giving really good coverage okay loving that loving that so far okay then i'm going to use the same brush and i'm going to go in with this um sort of brownie nude color down there just to deepen that up a little bit i'm thinking i'm going to leave the eyes fairly subtle she says, um, just because of the lip colours I've got to try. Ooh, a leak thought. Very subtle, but not. That's just a nice crease colour. That's just a really nice crease colour. A leak thought. It's quite a cool toned brown. And I feel like the cooler tones 
don't necessarily pack as much of a punch as the warmer tones do which is not a bad thing it's literally just a, an observation then i'm going to switch to a blending brush again by revolution and i'm just gonna gently blend those together then i'm gonna go in with this uh the darker of the two kind of deep navy blues um, and put that on the outer v Ooh. And again with the blending brush, but I'm only doing kind of that crease area and the outer bit of it. Okay, so for the lid, I'm going to choose this coppery shade. The, anything that's like a pinker tone can, can, not all of them, but they can make me just look like I've been punched in the face. So I'm going to go with this coppery one for the lid. Um, I'm toying with the idea of spraying it. Oh, maybe I'll try finger first. So. Oh, that is such a nice orange coppery colour. <gasps> why have I started this? This is actually really difficult with nails on. <laughs> I really like that colour. It's a really bright orangey coppery colour. My God, my eyelids have got a lot of texture on them these days. Okay, so I really like that colour, but I kind of want to wet it and see if that makes any difference so so i have also got this moon glow fixing spray so let's use that one as well i need a flat brush bear with give it a spritz oh that is such a fine mist Ooh. i'm not getting much difference to be honest but it is very very metallic without it so it maybe looks a little more sort of deep, but is that just because I've put another layer on anyway? Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back onto the outer V just to deepen it back up again, which I would anyway. But I'm gonna try using this one and just see how that works because we didn't use it last time. There we go, and I'm back. So I've gone and done the rest of my face, the rest of my eyes. So next on the list is the under eye and maybe the inner corner. So I'm thinking, seeing as we didn't use this um, pinky purple berry tone called crimson, I'm gonna use that under the eye a little as well. But it is a fairly shimmery shade, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Oh my god, I love that. Ooh, I love that! You can even see from there just what a difference that makes. <gasps> love it. I really like that, and that complements that copper colour so nicely. Yep, I am loving that one. Right, let's just whack some mascara on those bottom lashes. Oh my God, I sometimes think my bottom lashes are longer than my top ones. They're ridiculous. I do feel like I want an inner corner highlighter. So the highlight I've got on is the iHeart Revolution Marzipan Heart. So let's just put a little dab of that in the in the inner corner. <laughs> yep, look just how much that's opened that side up. <laughs> Love it. Yep, that's just finished off that look. <laughs> okay, next onto lippies, and I've got the uh, obsession be crazy about set. This has got three glosses in. Oh my god, these just look stunning. 
Okay, so we have got these three colours. We've got the... Uh, this got a name. Okay, we've got this pinky mauve colour called Let's Dance, which looks epic. We've got this coral orangey colour called Smitten, which looks beautiful. And we've got this gorgeous red colour. It's more of an orangey red, um, and that is called Stuck On, which is just beautiful. And I don't know which one to go for, so let's have a swatch and we'll see what we think. Ooh, I like the little applicator there. Okay, so this one is... Okay, so this one is Let's Dance. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh, they're so deep. Okay, loving that one. That's on me, that's coming out fairly pinky mauve. Then we've got the coral colour called Smitten. Oh my god, I love this. <gasps> that is gorgeous. In real life, it looks a lot pinker than it does on camera. It looks on my screen there, it looks fairly orangey coral. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. I cannot wait for summer to be rocking that one. Okay, and then we've got Stuck On, which was the red one. Ooh, see, this comes out like a dark raspberry. <gasps> I love it. <gasps> oh, I don't know which to choose. Which one do we think? See, if you're ever struggling for what colour to use, because you don't know whether it's going to go with your eye makeup or vice versa, just literally hold it up next to it and see what you think. What do you lot think? Are you screaming at me right now? Because I'm thinking the last one we tried the red, the sort of dark raspberry red kind of deal. <laughs> okay, so these aren't for coming off. <laughs> oh my god! I love this formula, it's quite thick but not like gloopy thick, it just, oh, I don't know, it's bizarre. It's not like a runny lip gloss and it doesn't feel sticky at all. Oh my God, that colour on and that formula is absolutely incredible. Oh my God, I think I might have a new favourite red lippy. Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh my God, it's like, it's not like an oil slick lip gloss. Does that make sense? That formula is incredible. I can't stop looking at it. That's so nice. Oh, it's on my teeth. Yeah, loving that. Right, the last thing to try is the Moon Glow Obsession Fixing Spray, which is this purpley lilac liquid. Well, that if you give it a shake, look at it all swelling. It's absolutely beautiful. I just find things like this mesmerizing. I could watch things like this all the time right so we used a little bit of this earlier to um try and intensify that shimmer eyeshadow but let's use it as the team intended and use it as a fixing spray and see what we think there oh my god that mist is so lightweight that took me a minute to realize it was landing on my face There's a really subtle fragrance to it. Oh my God, and it's it's kind of left a lovely little glow, but without... Oh my God, I love that. That's kind of left a really nice little glow, but without... I was wondering if it was going to leave like lilac little particles everywhere, but it hasn't at all. Ooh, I like it. It's like a shimmery sheen, but not quite. Like... Is that just my skin glowing or have I sprayed something on? You've no idea. <gasps> so, to recap, we've got the six eyeshadow magnetic palette that we can take the little individual eyeshadows out and customise and personalise to our heart's content. Um, I think... Yes, we did. We managed to use every single colour and oh my god, I love them. Um, I actually think my favourite was this red. I really like that on the under eye. Let me zoom you in, actually. I actually really like it. The um, crease um, colours went on really well for me. The lip colours, oh my god, I'm super impressed with. I cannot get across to you how brilliant this formula is. I love it. It feels like 
I've put a, a matte liquid lip on. You know when you put a matte liquid lip on and you put it on and it dries down and you are just confident that that is not moving for the day and it feels secure, it doesn't feel like it's sliding all over your face. This feels like that, but it's a gloss. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, what? What, what is this voodoo? I don't get it, I don't get it. It just feels super moisturizing, it feels gorgeous, the depth of color is ridiculous. This has just been one layer on each lip. It's, I've not built this up at all. This is how vivid the colors are, brilliant. This one in particular, I cannot wait to use in a brighter look or a summertime look. This will definitely be coming on holiday with me. I love it. And then this little cutie patootie, the Moon Glow Fix Focus. Hello, thank you. Um, The Moon Glow Fixing Spray, I just think is so cute. I could sit and do that for hours and just watch it. And it's given the most beautiful sheen to my skin ever without looking like I've sprayed glitter all over myself, which I'm not averse to. I have been known to douse myself in glitter. So yeah, I really like that one. Obviously, I can't attest to whether it's good or whether it lasts as a fixing spray because I've only just put it on. Um, but I will, if I remember, try and report back, but don't hold me to it because we know how forgetful she is. So that was it. Let me zoom you back out, actually. Back up, back up. That was it. That was my review of the new obsession bits of makeup that I've got recently. Um, all in all, I think that was a successful mission. I really like that. I really like the palette. I love the idea of the magnetic palettes that you can build yourself. Um, I mean, I'm not going to repeat myself, but yeah, I really like that. The lippies I love. The fixing spray is dead, dead cute. I think my favourite has got to be the lippies, to be honest with you, because I'm just blown away by the formula. So, um, yeah, go and grab yourself some obsession bits. Um, I got those from Boots. I presume you can get them from revolutionbeauty.com as well. Just go and fill your boots. Well, fill your baskets. Fill your whatever. Yep, run, go and get some obsession bits and bobs. Um, if you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe. Let's face it. If you've made it through this much waffling, you might as well subscribe because you're clearly not scared of a bit of a waffle, are you? Eh? Eh? Um, while you're there, go and press the notification bell so that you are warned, I mean notified when I post a new content. Go and leave me a comment as well and say hello and make sure you share with all of your friends so we can give as many people as possible a great big squish from me to you um, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye!